What's up guys, welcome to your 38th Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to control access to different variables in other classes and also what the this uh, keyword means in well, Java. So uh, let's first of all talk about access to these private variables right here. Now what private means is that these variables are private meaning that only these methods have access to it. Only these methods in the same class, this tuna class, can use these variables. So what if we try to use these private variables in another class like our apples one? Well, let's go ahead and try to do that right now. First of all, we already made a tuna object to use all the stuff in that class. But let's go ahead and try to use something like our right here. If we go ahead and try to use our and change it to like another number, we get this little um, error right here and if we were to run this we would get a compilation error so I don't want to do that so what it says is the field tuna hour is not visible and that is because instead of public it is private again meaning that only these methods right here can use it so if we want to change that and put it so these variables can be used in any class outside we need to change that to public and now you can see my little X went away so now I can use a class outside to change the variables in another class. So let's go ahead and change it back to private. And make sure you spell it right. That's kind of important. And go ahead and delete this. And that brings me to another point. What the this keyword is in Java. So what if you're saying that, all right, I got three variables in this class named hour, minute, and second but also in my constructor in or this doesn't even matter it can be your constructor or just another function or excuse me method I am mean, uh, talking about C++ for too long changes the hour minute and second so now we probably need to change these too don't you think minute and second so what if we were to say that these variables in this method inside this class were the exact same as these variables right here so in other words if the constructor or any other method uses names or variables identical to instance variables then what when you run the program what's it gonna do well let's go ahead and see right now um, I guess we don't need this anymore but we'll keep it anyways let's go ahead and run this and as you can see, we get one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we set the time, which doesn't matter anymore. Then we get one, two, three, one, two, three. So my point is that is this: any time you have the same variables in a method or a constructor, which are the same thing, um, you Java looks to these variables, the local variables, instead of these right here. So if we're saying, all right, that's good and all. And by the way, you should never name these variables the same as this. This is just uh, for knowledge. But um, anyways, so what if we want to use that these variables, the 4, 5, and 6 instead? Well, if a method contains a local variable with the same name as the field names right here, then the method is always going to look at the local variables instead. It's always going to look at these instead. And that is, there is only one way to kind of overpower this, and that is to use the this reference to refer to these variables instead. So, for example, you know we had 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Well, if we use a little keyword called this instead, then it's going to refer to these variables. So this hour, this minute, and this second and this pretty much means this method right here that we're talking about so anytime you use this it says alright don't use all these use this right here and I'm sure that's a tone when he was creating this use this one right here I'm sure he said that so now if we go in our main apples program and go ahead and run it we now get one two three one two three before uh oh oh four five six four five six so that is using these local 
uh, variables instead of these private ones right here. So again, anytime you want to use the variables in your method instead of the variables outside your method, if they're named the same thing, you need to use the this keyword. And that says, all right, use these ones right here or use this ones, not here. That doesn't even make sense, but you know what I mean. Use them locally instead of far apart. So again, it's easier just to see and play around with it. And once you do, you're going to understand what this means. Wow, that's like a little joke. And anyways, I uh, hope you understand at least a little bit. In the next tutorials, I promise I'll be clearing this up for you. It's kind of confusing right now. But um, uh, keep an eye out for my next tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.